All right, in an earlier video, I was talking about uh, how much the carbon ring uh, uh, wore uh, would wear down after 100 hours. At least my experience, I measured there is only um, eight thousandths of an inch difference between a brand new ring and this one, which was at uh, 100 hours. Um, I had, as I said earlier, what I wanted to do was I like to test, measure, and evaluate, and so I had this whole drive line pulled so that I could check what the wear characteristics uh, of this were compared to a brand, you know, compared to a brand new one. Now, one of the reasons for that is because my earlier ski was a 2019, and this seal cratered, this carbon ring uh, cratered after 30 hours. It just blew dust everywhere, and apparently that was because of a bad formulation. So I was concerned about this uh, because I take long distances of many days, and I just want to have confidence in, you know, how fast this thing wears. And the bottom line is, it properly aligned with a properly aligned engine, it doesn't really wear... Uh, as fast as maybe you might think. Uh, now, I know some of you guys, you do wave jumping and all that other kind of stuff, or you're in sandy conditions, you're uh, building, sucking up crap. Well, that can abrade this and, you know, um, give you problems there and give you bad wear characteristics. Also, as noted earlier, this looks like really bad. However, although it looks like this, this had a seal that was unbelievable. Uh, every morning I'd get up and I'd check my boat, to see if there was water in the engine bay and there was absolutely no water leakage coming in. So this this did exactly what it was supposed to do. Okay, so you might notice this shaft. This shaft looks pretty grody. Uh, this goes up the engine. There's a PTO bearing that goes here that's oil, bathed in oil. Um, and then also you have this, uh, what's called the hat uh, that slides up on the shaft and that goes like this. And of course, then you got this bellows that goes like that. I want to talk about this groove here. The reason this groove is here, or this slit, or cut, is because in order to get this off, they had to cut this with a grinding tool uh, to get this to break free of all the corrosion that happens up under here. In addition, there was corrosion that was happening uh, up at the PTO, um, right here, uh, and they had to cut that also. That's like a $200 part. This is a $200 part. Um, so all this had to be destroyed because this thing had seized due to corrosion um, between the shaft and these and these components. Now, the reason that, com that corrosion happens is because, yes, you're right in salt water, but you see this, this area right in here, okay? This area here in here is protected from water by these O-rings, at least it's supposed to be. But this area here is exposed to water that circulates up around this shaft. And it's, just to let you know, when this is like this and it's all fixtured together, no matter how much you wash down your engine bay or wash up underneath a tunnel and stuff like that, it's practically impossible to get this area here flushed out with salt away or something like that. And so what happens is you get a corrosion um, band that sets up that basically welds this area here to this shaft. Sometimes you, when you can use the tool to push that forward and it'll break it free and you can get it, but many times uh, if you're riding a lot in salt water and you got corrosion here, this is tightened up so so tightly that they either have to heat this up and then destroy the O-rings um, or they have to cut it. And when they cut it, they cut into the shaft. So you have to have a new shaft, you have to have a new hat, uh, uh, obviously, that goes with your this comes as a kit, by the way, so you're going to get a new hat anyway. But it's damaging to the shaft that happens when you are trying to remove this because in order to get this shaft out of the ski to replace these components, this has to be uh, unclipped uh, from the C-clip groove here. It's moved forward, you pull the C-clip, and then this moves back and you can slide the drive shaft out. But anyway, um, I do wish c would come up with a better... A better design for this area here um, so that this could be lubed and flushed uh, as part of your cleaning process but once again this is all hidden you can't get up in there with water um, to, to clean that out anyway so um, that's just some information on your on your drive line